Recall that the integral of e to the x is simply e to the x, and the integral of a to the x is a to the x over ln of a, where a is a constant. So what about if we are asked to find the integral of x by 5 to the 3x squared minus 1? In this case, we have an exponential, 5 to the 3x squared minus 1, and as the base of the exponential is 5, this could look similar to the integral of a to the x, where a is 5. As the difference between 5 to the 3x squared minus 1 and a to the x is simply that x has been replaced by 3x squared minus 1, we could think about 3x squared minus 1 to be g of x. Now, before applying substitution, we need to know if substitution is going to work. Therefore, for that, we need to calculate the derivative of g, which is 6x, and we need to think about, do we have the derivative of g, or almost, multiplying inside the integral? In this case, you do have x multiplying in front. And you can see that 6x is just a multiple of x. Then, substitution is the right technique to apply. Therefore, we will call u to 3x squared minus 1, and du dx is then 6x. In order to leave dx by itself, we cross multiply, so du is 6x dx, and then we divide across both sides by 6x. So we have dx is du over 6x. If we go back to the original integral, we can write this as the integral of x by 5 to the u by du over 6x. As usual, if substitution is the right technique to apply, all your x's should cancel at this stage. Therefore, we are left with the integral of 5 to the u by du over 6. Taking 1 over 6 outside, we have simply the integral of 5 to the u du. The integral of 5 to the u du is just 5 to the u over ln of 5 plus the constant of integration. If we bring the x back, then your final answer is going to be 1 over 6 by 5 to the 3x squared minus 1 over ln of 5 plus c. And if you want, you can multiply the two fractions, so you can write your answer as a single fraction, so we have 5 to the 3x squared minus 1 over 6 by ln of 5, everything plus the constant of integration.